All right, folks, let's go trackside. Here to say the most famous words in motorsports, please welcome the chair and CEO of Window World, Tammy Whitworth. Drivers, start your engines. Uh, slip and sliding already. This is the grooves that we were talking about. Saw it today in the truck race. Man, they were all. Oh, Nemechek way up, slid up. I think that was Priest he got into. Still into people. Ping pong right now. Yeah, I think every corner of that 42 is knocked off already. Three wide, turn two. Well, you see right off the bat, this is a, a very different line than, than what they had last year. You're going to run right on the bottom in three and four for a little bit. Uh, you're going to almost, it gets really flat on the entry down into turn one where these guys are headed right now. Ty Gibbs in the middle up the racetrack, kind of dime in that corner back down the racetrack and shoot off into turn three back up the hill. John Hunter Nemechek battling right here for yep. eighth and ninth. Barry caught him pretty easily, but oh. Well, oh, that's that bump off of four. Yeah. Yeah, and you see the back of that bump is, is at the lower you get, the, the harder that bump rocks the car around. Catching him is one thing. Passing him is another. It should be easier today. You don't have any time. No Man, room for apologies. The back of that four car is bouncing around. I did not experience a bounce like that yesterday. My car went, um, or Kyle Larson's right? car went, went through that bump pretty well. But this that car is bouncing. Looks like it's bouncing off the limiter. Watch this left rear as he comes up off the corner right here. He He's moved gonna, up that yeah. time on purpose to try to go around it. Ooh, man, that right rear bounce is hard. Remember last year, Ty Gibbs led 53 laps of this race. Leaning on him. And transferred by finishing second to the driver who's now in the number four, that's Josh it. Berry. That's going to be the textbook move for tonight, right, Kevin? No yeah, time. You yeah, go. well, especially in these cars, there's really no penalty, right? The right sides are pretty tough. Uh, you're able to, to be pretty aggressive. Watch this. See that left front right there. Oh, my wow. goodness. Barry had on the outside. Here he comes, guys. It's four cars fast. This car should take off better than they did on the yellows. Oh, Cindric is around. And he had help. Yellow is out as Austin Cindric gets turned into the wall. Uh, yeah, just three wide. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> got squeezed. Yeah, and it, it didn't look like he squeezed him all the way up, but it was, yeah, uh, yeah. Lost three spots on pit road, what happened? Bubba Wallace has moved up the racetrack down in turns one and two. Well, you're starting to see some of these cars fall off, Mike, and Bubba Wallace's car, let's see, he ran 1877, Josh Berry ran 1878. So, you know, th there's a good possibility that the lap times could really start to, start to fall off as you get closer and closer to the end of this run. Larry, what kind of fall off are we seeing with the soft tire? Right now, they've run almost 30 laps since that they made that pit stop, and I'm only seeing, Mike, maybe three, three and a half tenths of fall off. The car's falling back and moving forward. So two to go, Bubba Wallace on the bubble, has the final spot. Josh Berry, his only chance to make the all-star race is to catch and pass Wallace in these final two laps. Yeah, and he has given it everything he has, Josh Berry there in third. He's all the way up against the rubber uh, in that top groove, trying to find something to make some time. Final lap, Ty Gibbs headed for the checkers. The race is for second. Dominant fashion, dominant performance by Ty Gibbs. Might be able to make some noise tonight in this all-star race. Ty Gibbs leads every lap and wins the open, Bubba Wallace by three car lengths holds off Josh Berry to transfer into tonight's all-star event. Well, Bubba Wallace and Ty Gibbs share a laugh. Uh, they are going to race in the all-star race tonight. Stuart Haas had f all four of their cars in the open and they finished third, fifth, seventh, and eighth with Gregson advancing on the fan boat. Regan? Well, Mike, it's all smiles down here for Ty Gibbs. Ty, a year ago you transferred through by finishing second in the All-Star Open. 
This year you'll win it, and it was won in dominant fashion. Looked pretty good. Yeah, we were pretty good. I feel like we were pretty solid, so it's good to make it, and um, good to see Bubba make it too. So hopefully we can go in and win it. I think Waltrip did it once, so it'd be cool to go win a million bucks, go buy some sprint cars or something. You had plenty of laps out there on both types of tires, both the option tire and the primary tire. Did you learn what you need to learn to maybe take it to him? You finished ninth last year, get eight more spots better this year? Yeah, I think we're solid enough and, and, and good enough to go do that. So I feel like we learned a lot with what we're going to do. So thank you to Monster Energy, Mitch Covington, um, everybody at Interstate Batteries Norm. So I got some uh, good friends here, and let's go win this thing. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.